When your Bradford White Defender water heater pilot light won't stay lit, there are typically three main culprits, the thermocouple, the gas valve, or issues with the gas supply itself. The thermocouple is a critical safety device that senses heat from the pilot flame. Understanding how it works is key to diagnosing pilot light problems. The thermocouple generates a small electrical current when heated by the pilot flame. This current keeps the gas valve open, allowing gas to flow to both the pilot light and main burner. When the pilot light goes out, the thermocouple cools down, the electrical current stops, and the gas valve automatically closes to prevent dangerous gas leaks. This is a crucial safety feature. A faulty thermocouple is the most common reason for pilot light problems, but there are other potential causes to consider as well. Beyond thermocouple problems, a clogged pilot orifice can prevent proper gas flow, blocked venting can disrupt combustion, and gas supply issues can starve the pilot of fuel. Before diving into component repairs, start with these basic troubleshooting steps to identify the root cause of your pilot light problem. First, ensure your gas supply valve is fully open. Next, check the gas control valve for any flashing status lights. These error codes can provide valuable diagnostic information. If you see flashing codes, consult your service manual for interpretation. Finally, try a basic reset by turning off the gas, setting the control valve to off, waiting a few minutes, then switching to pilot position and attempting to relight. If these basic steps don't resolve the issue, the problem likely lies with the thermocouple or other components that require more detailed inspection and testing. If resetting doesn't work, the next step is inspecting the thermocouple. This safety device must be properly positioned and clean to function correctly. The pilot flame must fully envelop the thermocouple bulb. If the flame doesn't touch the tip or if the thermocouple appears damaged, it needs replacement. Clean the thermocouple with a soft brush to remove any buildup. Gently brush away dirt or corrosion that might prevent proper heat sensing. Next, check the pilot orifice for clogs. Carbon deposits can block gas flow and prevent proper ignition. Use a stiff brush or compressed air to clear any carbon deposits. Be gentle to avoid damaging the orifice opening. Ensure proper combustion air supply and venting. Clear any obstructions in the jacket slot openings that could restrict airflow. If these steps don't work, check for a tripped thermal reset switch. Locate the reset button on the control panel and press it to reset the system. If the pilot still won't stay lit, the gas valve may be faulty and require professional assistance. Always prioritize safety by turning off the gas before working and ensuring proper ventilation. 